Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name is Matt, and in this session, we're going to go over the signal flow of the SSL mixer that comes in Reason, and we're going to talk about you know the insert effects and and how the signal flows in the mixer and how it can affect you, you know uh, your your track output level and affect your gain staging. And let, let's go over this so we can clear up some things. Um, the reason we're doing this video is because one of the members here at LearnReason.com made a post and he was having a problem with the input gain. And it had to do with the way uh, the inserts were affecting the gain structure of the channel. So let's take a look at this. He had set up a subtractor uh, and he, he wired, uh, cabled it up into the input right here. And then he used the D11 full back distortion and um, a digital delay line as inserts to affect the sound of the subtractor. And this is the problem that he's having. Let's take a look and I'm going to bypass uh, the, the, uh, the insert effects. And if we look at this, we can see the gain here is up around 10, right? So normally what we would do is we just, we just inch it down a bit to right around minus 10 to get our gain staging in, in the area. So now, look what happens. You can see, even if I lower this, it's really not affecting it. If I turn all the way up, you see how the level's really not changing? That is because the inserts, the, the two effects, are being run into the inserts. Okay, let me show you something. I made a diagram to help everybody understand the signal flow here in the virtual SSL mixer. First, let me say, that this is a simple signal flow diagram. It does not include all options like uh, the uh, dynamics to side chain and the pre's here in the in the aux sends. I didn't put all those signal flows in it. But I just what I did here is you have the basic signal flow of how the signal flows through this virtual SSL mixer. So by looking at this diagram, we can see the input signal comes in and the gain knob right here, which controls the gain of the input, controls the subtractor, which is going into the input right here, just like right here. Then it goes out to the inserts. And it doesn't matter what order these are set at. Because the, the insert section of the, the, the mixer processes the whole signal. And it can overload the input signal that's being fed into it. Thus, you need to choose your insert effects wisely and you also, if you want to do something aggressive in the inserts, you need to control the output of your insert effects. It's that simple. So let's take a look at this. The way this is set up here, it would be much wiser to set it up like this. Let's take, let's unhook this. Let's unhook these. And let's just delete them. I'm going to show you. And this is, people might do this by mistake and not understand it. So here's the full back distortion. If I take that full back distortion and I put it underneath, Look how it wires it up. See, it's going into the input. Subtractor is going through the distortion, then going to the input. If I take the, the, um, the delay line and put it next to it, now it's going in that order. Now it's going uh, into the delay line and then into the input. But now, let's back this up. Let's say I double click here. Watch what happens. 
You see what happens? It automatically goes to the input. And then I uh, double click here, still going to the input. Let's back it up one more time. Now watch what happens when I drag it above. It becomes an insert. See? If I drag it above here, now we have the setup that he was doing before. Let's back it up here. With these kinds of effects, if you want to use these kinds of effects and, and be able to control the, it, it, you have to be able to control the level. And the best way to do that would be to put in a, a mixer here and just run the subtractor into the mixer to the output like that. Now, when you add in your effects, he wanted the, the fullback distortion. He puts it here. It becomes a send and the digital delay. And now he can, he can uh, control the level here of the effects. The aux send, you can control the volume of the effect. And if you look here at our chart here, you'll see that the input signal is split off and run through the, the send effects. And this is what allows you to control the volume separate from the input volume, especially when you go pre or post on the, on the sends here. That's what allows it. It splits it off and sends it parallel here and then back into the finally here at the, the, the output fader of the channel. So let's go back here to the mixer and uh, see now we don't even have any inserts. And we can control the input gain. See now we don't have any inserts going on. You see they're not lit up there. And I can control my, uh, the input gain of my channel here. Which, is, which you should always be able to do. It's, it's actually imperative that you have total control of your input signal right here with this gain knob at all times. Because if you're not, if you don't have that, then you, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose uh, uh, control of your gain structure. And in, in the end, you could, uh, you could have a distortion. <laughs> and you don't want that. You know, when you set up a, an insert effect, you know, most of the time in, insert effects are going to be compressors, equalizers, um, uh, limiters. Uh, they might be some delays, but, you know, most of the time your delays, your reverbs, an effect like the fullback distortion, that's going to be something you put on a send because you need, to, you know, you need to control the level of it or you set, you set them up in a combinator like this and you send them through a send in a mixer so that you can control the level. You know, always, you know, having full control of the the gain structure of your track. So this diagram here is free for everybody to download and you can print it out on a regular piece of paper and uh, I hope it helps you guys out. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask on our YouTube channel our LearnReason.com site, uh, the, uh, the Twitter site, the Google site, and the Facebook site. Well, LearnReason.com is here to help you out. You guys take care, and Happy New Year!